Um, myelin, <clears throat> it's becoming, uh, understand now that it's ever changing as with age. It uh, accumulates with aging and uh, uh, to a certain point. And it's interesting that at that point, it kind of diminishes. And that's the time of when we start to have memory problems as well. And there is a lot of turnover and myelin regeneration. So really the only part of our brain that can regenerate, has a regenerative potential, is myelin. And the fact that their myelin is lesion is occurring with age, we need to figure out a way to, uh, to find a way to uh, augment that regeneration. And then what we've also shown in the field is showing, in the myelin field, is that when we learn new things, myelin may be produced, more myelin is produced. So it's actually not like we thought in the old days that myelin is just produced, stays stick, sticky and uh, stays the same throughout life. It's actually expanding, changing, increasing, and therefore, you know, it's more dynamic and in responsive to learning and environment than we previously thought. So I think we're kind of on the brink of understanding white matter in, in neuroscience in whole and uh, what this is essential to understand also what it may have for diseases like dementia. My research my, uh, is kind of uh, set into uh, two parts. So we are looking into how to make myelin regenerative, uh, to regenerate myelin in multiple diseases and what differs between white matter lesions, so in dementia or in multiple sclerosis. And then also how myelin changes with learning and uh, with life and what are this dynamic what's regulating these dynamic changes